Anyone who has ever watched with fascination the transformations occurring in a pan while frying a piece of meat or observed how dough acquires a golden brown color in the oven has witnessed the fascinating play of food chemistry. In the kitchen, alongside culinary talent and intuition, it is precisely chemical reactions that determine the final flavor, aroma, and appearance of dishes. Among these processes, two reactions, the Maillard reaction and caramelization, play key roles and the magic of cooking partly arises from them. The Maillard reaction, often called the chemistry of taste, is responsible for the development of deep, complex aromas in a wide range of dishes, from roasted meats to bread and coffee. On the other hand, caramelization, though it may sound sweet and straightforward, is a process that gives food a rich sweetness and depth, affecting not just the taste, but also the color and texture. Although different, both of these processes are indispensable elements of the culinary art, transforming simple ingredients into works of art for the senses. So, what is the Maillard reaction and how does it differ from caramelization? More on this in today's video. By comparing these processes, we will discover how they can cooperate and contribute to creating unforgettable taste experiences. Let's take a closer look at the Maillard reaction, named after the French chemist Louis-Camille Maillard, who first described this process in the early 20th century. The Maillard reaction occurs when proteins and reducing sugars present in food are heated together, leading to the formation of complex molecules that give dishes a rich aroma, color, and taste. This process is almost ubiquitous in cooking, from baking bread to grilling steaks. During the Maillard reaction, hundreds of different chemical compounds are created through a series of complex reactions between amino acids, the building blocks of proteins, and sugars. These compounds are responsible for the deep, complex flavor profiles that are impossible to achieve through caramelization of sugars alone. This reaction occurs best at temperatures from about 140 degrees Celsius to 165 degrees Celsius, which is one reason why frying or baking often leads to more interesting flavors than boiling. Examples of dishes where the Maillard reaction plays a leading role include the crispy skin of roasted chicken, the golden brown crust of baked bread, or the rich aroma of roasted coffee and cocoa. Each of these dishes and ingredients owes its unique palette of flavors and aroma to this chemical process. However, the Maillard reaction is not limited to meat dishes. It also occurs in plant-based protein sources, like tofu or seitan, giving them a richer taste and better texture. Caramelization is another key culinary process that, unlike the Maillard reaction, focuses on sugars. During this process, simple sugars such as glucose or fructose are heated, leading to their decomposition and the formation of new compounds that give food a sweet taste, golden color, and pleasant aroma. Caramelization requires higher temperatures than the Maillard reaction, typically above 165 degrees Celsius and does not involve interactions with proteins. While the Maillard reaction is complex and multi-stage, caramelization is more straightforward in its mechanism but equally fascinating in its effects. This process is responsible for the characteristic taste and color of caramel, but also affects the taste of roasted vegetables such as onions or carrots, which become sweeter as their natural sugars caramelize. Thanks to this process, simple ingredients can gain depth of flavor, which is particularly important in vegetarian and vegan cuisine. Although the Maillard reaction and caramelization are different processes, both are crucial in the kitchen. The key difference is that the Maillard reaction involves interactions between proteins and sugars, while caramelization focuses solely on sugar transformations. This difference has significant consequences for the flavor, aroma, and appearance of dishes. The Maillard reaction requires the presence of proteins and sugars, and an adequately high, but not too extreme, temperature to proceed effectively. It is a reaction that occurs widely in various dishes, from meats to bread and protein-rich vegetables. Caramelization, on the other hand, requires higher temperatures and focuses on sugars, making it more characteristic of processes such as dessert preparation, though it also finds application in savory cooking, adding depth of flavor to vegetables or sauces. Understanding these two processes allows cooks to approach cooking more consciously. For example, knowing that the Maillard reaction can add depth of flavor to meat or bread one can deliberately manipulate the temperature and cooking time to achieve the desired effect. Similarly, 
Controlling the caramelization process allows for the extraction of natural sweetness from vegetables or the creation of perfectly smooth caramel. That's why meat for stew is first browned on a pan or onions are caramelized before adding them to a soup broth. To maximize the use of both processes in the kitchen, it's worth remembering a few key principles. First, not every ingredient benefits from intense heating. Some delicate ingredients may lose flavor value at too high temperatures. Second, both the Maillard reaction and caramelization require patience. Attempting to speed up the process with too high a temperature often ends in burning rather than the desired complex flavor. Understanding and skillfully utilizing the Maillard reaction and caramelization are keys to achieving culinary masterpieces. These chemical processes, although they may seem complicated, are in fact accessible to anyone who cooks, regardless of skill level. Experimenting with different temperatures, cooking times, and combinations of ingredients will help uncover new flavors and aromas, as well as a better understanding of how these processes impact the final outcome of dishes. Cooking, like any form of art, requires both technical knowledge and creativity. The Maillard reaction and caramelization are examples of how science can support culinary art, helping to create dishes that delight not only in taste and aroma, but also in appearance. Thank you for your attention, and I invite you to visit my culinary blog, where I publish more interesting facts related to culinary arts.